Hey, Tim here, and today I'm going to be taking you through the new features in Tableau 10. In this video, I'm going to focus on the visual design, and I'm going to do this by comparing 9.3 with version 10 side by side. So first, let's open up Tableau 9.3. I already have it open here, and in this view, you have the Connect, Open and Discover pane. In the middle, you normally have recent workbooks that you've opened, and then at the bottom, you have sample workbooks. And the Connect and the Discover pane have the same sort of blue background. In Tableau 10, this design has changed. And the main change that you'll notice straight away is that the Discover pane has a grayed background. The Viz of the Week and the sections remain the same, but it's been grayed out, I think, to focus your attention on the connection. You see, in the previous design, when you open Tableau, you had this sort of battle going on between the Connect and the Discover pane. And sometimes your eyes would sort of take you away from what you're trying to do, which is your work. So in version 10, they've made you focus on the connect pane so that your eyes naturally dive into that. And if you're looking for a healthy distraction, the discover pane is still there and you can still interact with it. The other subtle change here is that the font has been upgraded. If I just drag this to the side, you'll notice that if you look at them side by side, the font is ever so slightly lighter and ever so slightly smoother. Okay, so that's the first key change. Now, if I go back to 9.3 and I open a data source, here I have samples uh, EU Superstore sales, and I do, uh, do the same thing in Tableau 10, you'll notice a difference straight away. So let me just switch back to 9.3. You have your dimensions and measures, and your pages, filters, marks, columns, rows, and then you have your canvas. In Tableau 10, the canvas takes up the whole space straight away, you don't have to build a visualization for that to happen. And the columns, rows, figures, filters, and marks are grayed out. And then your dimensions and measures have a slightly softer feel. And the whole focus around this design change, I think, is to make you focus on the canvas. Picture this uh, as a tool like Photoshop or picture yourself as an artist. The canvas is what you focus on. Everything else is simply a tool that helps you achieve what you're trying to achieve. And so by simplifying the design around the canvas and making the user focus on the canvas, uh, allows you just maybe to, you know, do your work in a slightly more efficient and better way and really sort of be ingrained in, in, in what you're doing. I mean, that, that's my personal opinion of why the design has changed. And I think that's been reflected in some of the blog posts that Tableau have been talking about. The other thing you'll notice is that the iconology has changed. So the icons have changed throughout the tool. The application icons have changed. This always happens between versions. But also you have these marks icons that have also changed. And when you click on those, they also have subtly different elements within them. And one thing you'll notice throughout Tableau 10 is that the defaults have changed. And so here you can see the color panes are slightly different to what we're used to. If I look at the same ones in Tableau 9.3, you'll notice these are much darker, sort of stronger colors. And Maureen Stone has done a great blog post on the Tableau blog about why these defaults are the way they are. So please check that out. If we build a visualization, you'll also see defaults behaving differently. So I'm gonna build a visualization first in 9.3. I'm gonna drag product name onto detail. Then I'm gonna drag profit onto color. And here Tableau makes a decision and uses the red and green coloring scheme to show me profit and loss. And then I'm gonna make this a scatter plot by dragging sales up top and then control dragging profit so that it copies the field and I get my scatter plot. It's a very simple chart. Just, just take a moment to just take this in, look at how it feels, look at where the canvas is. If we do the same thing in Tableau 10, for a start, the canvas is already taking up the full page. I'm gonna drag profit onto color this time. Then I'm gonna drag product onto detail. And notice the colors are different straight away. Instead of choosing red and green, Tableau have chosen orange and blue. And this is, I think, largely to do with accessibility, but also I think I just find it generally easier to interpret this color scheme compared to the previous one. And if we carry on building this out, I think I might have put these the wrong way around, so I'll just switch them out. 
you'll see there's a much lighter feel to the visualization. Tableau are trying to encourage you to have a slightly softer design touch. And you'll also notice that the title is seamless. It's part of the canvas. Whereas before, it wasn't even there and you'd have to go up to the worksheet and uh, show the title to see the title, okay? And so these are very subtle but important changes and you'll see these happening throughout the whole of Tableau 10. Um, whether it's color, tooltips, information, the way everything is displayed has subtly changed. And so I really encourage you to sort of dive around, kick around and see how many different things you can spot. Uh, that's been it for this video. In my next video, I'll be focusing on dashboard design and formatting and see what changes Tableau 10 has brought about and maybe what we would like to see more of. That's been it. That's been me.